Hamish, thank you for joining us. Oh, Tommy, it's an absolute pleasure. This is a really big deal for me too, because for any kids that have seen Lego Masters, um, they would know obviously Brickman is our judge. He's one of the top 13 Lego builders in the world. And I'm, I'm really just man, man. I, I don't get to do any judging. And so to be invited to this amazing competition, to be able to judge, it's a bit of a first time for me. So I feel very honored to be elevated to judges level. Because level. I don't have any power on the show. Well, you have all the power here, Hamish. Of course, this time last year, we were doing this for real at the Learning for Life quiz you are hosting. Yeah. But now this is our online version and so many of our kids and families have been very excited to submit their entries. They're playing for some big prizes today, including spotlight vouchers and a few other things we'll get to in a moment. But shall we dive into the entries? Let's dive right in. All right, we're going to start with our preschool. So you've got them there. You've got the... Um... I've, I've, I've been look, I'm looking at them just beside me for kids that are wondering. I've got a beautiful a selection of your builds and the photos and the description. Tommy's got as well. But we'll put them up on the screen so everyone can play along. Well, first of all, I mean, this is from Evie. She's three years old, which is, this is incredible. I don't think I could even connect Duplo together when I was three years old. Um, I love the car house. And I especially love uh, that you can see a horse on the third level. Um, you, as a horse, you're usually confined to the ground floor, but you can see there on the right picture that that horse has got to go up. So next, lovely, lovely touch there, Evie. Great stuff. Next, next up, we've got couch. Maddie, Madeline's built a couch here. This is, this is a really impressive build from Madeline. Um, do you see, Tommy, how there's a stack of books next to the bed? Yeah. That's like a, that's a very tricky move um, that, that Madeline's done there. So love the couch, love the room, amazing building from Madeline. Let's go across to Cow Party, Alexander. Again, we're seeing some some lovely behavior towards animals here. We've mm. had a horse on the second floor and now we've got a cow getting to have a party. And I don't know, I, 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 I don't know many cows, but I I know probably one of the tougher elements of being a cow is you don't get to go to many parties. You just never see them. You don't, you don't see them at a party. And Alexander's solved that problem. I, I think, think they're having a great time at the party. Mm. Next, we've got campground. Mm. Um, this is from Louis, five years old. This is really impressive. How's the white on it, Tommy? I mean, that's the first thing that jumps out at you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's the spatial uh, awareness. It's the it's the whole uh, mise en scene. It's it's just extraordinary. Very true. And I, and I, and I think that, that those would be Louis' words too, as he built this together. I think he would have been would have been wrapped that we picked up on the mise en scene. Um, but also, I love the fire. I love the whiteness too of the of the campground too. Like that's. That's uh, always is pretty cool when you can build in the same colour, especially white too. Brickman's taught me that of all the Lego colours, when you make something just out of white, mm -hmm. because of the way the light hits it, it makes it even more interesting. So I love that he's done that. There. But that, that is our preschool entries and we do, yeah. we do need a winner, don't we? It's tough and it's over to you, Hames. Can I firstly say, and I'm probably going to say this a lot, but I really mean it, all of these are amazing. Would These are all such cool builds. I love the ideas. I love how they've been made. So anytime we're going to have a winner today, I think it's by the tiniest whisker hmm. of a win. And, and, I've, and it's probably going to go off my first, those first instincts, that first thing that you see. And I think, I think for me, couch, Madeline's couch might have just got it from the, some of the details that hmm. she had on the book stack. Just a sniff over the other three. But I want to say to Evie, Alexander and Louis, it, amazing. Brilliant. Just amazing builds. Well done, guys. Congrats. And congrats to you, Madeline. Indeed. Excellent. All right, we're going to move on to our primary school. We've had to split them into two, the lower and upper age-wise. So this Smart. is the, um, this is the uh, we'll kick off with uh, Concrete Creation from Oliver. Concrete Creation from Oliver. Um, I really, I really like what you've done here, Ollie. Um, I, I think, I, I mean, building buildings is one thing, but then connecting them all, which is what he's done with different paths at different levels. That's a really tricky thing to do, especially although well, you're five years old, which is, you know, that's pretty big, but that's still quite young to be getting the exact levels right on that. So that is a really, really impressive build that you've done there. If you haven't um, picked up already, of course, our theme is C. Everything has to begin with C and uh, Oliver with concrete creation, two C. So probably two C's, dear, double C. I mean, that's, he's, and he's really, 
I mean, there's some pretty ugly concrete creations around in the city and I would much rather have yours in, the, in our city, sure. Oliver. So a future as a town planner awaits you. All right. Um, Lachlan's Cruiser. Mm. This is... This is quite an epic build. What are your What are your first thoughts on this, Tommy? What do you love about the cruiser? It, it's It's astral. I reckon that could NASA could launch that um, from a site anywhere. Um, it, and it, and it, it, it seems like it could. It has vertical takeoff and landing, doesn't it? it? Seems like it's like a like a drone. You could absolutely. The other thing I love about that you've done here, Lachlan, is you've you've when you're building a drone, it's important to have the same amount of engines on both sides. Otherwise, it will flip. And you've done that spectacularly well. Spectacularly well. Um, the, your pilot's very brave, just seems to be sitting on top of it, but that's pilots for you, they're brave. Um, carousel, great, first of all, Sidhu, great use of the C word. Um, that, is a, that, is an, that is a tricky C word to go with carousel. Um, and what better place for animals and people to come together than on a carousel? Yeah. And I do like uh, that there's a cashier at the top collecting the tickets. So it's not only is it a very, very creative Lego build, but it's a good business model yes, as well because you've got pays you for have itself. a you pays for, it pays for itself in a couple of rides, mm. and then we've got Mayer's Cafe. I really like the cafe here, Mayer, and I love that Mayer's Mayer has written. I don't know if people can see it, but she likes going to the cafe, Mayer, and because of COVID, of course, we've all been stuck inside, and that's been one of the fun things that Lego can do is it's helped us imagine worlds that we can't go to at the moment for a little while. And Maya's built a cafe because she loves going to the cafe and she likes remembering what's there. And I think that is very, very cool. I also love that she's labelled everything. Yes. That's a lovely touch. That's, that's it. She's gone above and beyond. Um, I think it brings us to, this is like Rudy's Cape Cruiser, another great symmetrical Lego build. Um, we've seen it, we saw it before with the Cruiser, but, but the, the same things on each side. It's like if you put a mirror down the middle, we've got equal stuff on both sides. And what I... What I love, if I'm say, I hope I'm seeing this correctly here, Rudy, is I'm pretty sure that thing at the back, that little black thing sticking out at the back, I am pretty sure that is a Batman cape. That's a Lego Batman cape that's been stuck into the back of the caped cruiser. And so that that gets a few extra points in my book too, because usually you see a superhero with a cape, but you don't often see the vehicle with its own cape. Nice skills. Well done, Rudy. Very cool. This is super impressive from Harvey, a Cretaceous park. Now, you could have just built one dinosaur, but instead you have built a massive amount of dinosaurs here in a Cretaceous park. Um, I can see, now I have, I have a really, oh, sorry, Harvey, Harvey, you're eight years old. You obviously know a lot about dinosaurs. I have a son who's six, and, and I hear a few of the words flying around my house too, Gallimimus. Very, very fast dinosaur. Spinosaurus, the biggest predator, bigger than a T-Rex, I believe. Um, you've got pterodons. You've got a Pachycephalosaurus in there, which is super impressive. Um, they've, of course, got the crest on their head. Um, you've, and I love that they, you've made them all from the Cretaceous period as well. So not only have you done a great build here, but you've really done the research into making these very accurate. I love it. Observation deck, helicopter, so much to discover in your build. Great job, Harvey. And we've got Violet's Cafe, another terrific cafe here. It actually looks like a cafe I'd like to visit, Tommy. I don't know if you can see the food. Um, cupcakes and roast chicken, two of my favourite foods. Yeah. Two of my favourite foods. And not many cafes can you get a roast chook and a cupcake. Oh. And so I'd be interested in going to your cupcake, uh, into your cupcake cafe, Violet. Cool convertible car. This could be our first with three Cs, Tom. Mm. This is, it, it, what a vehicle here. I love the colours that you have used in this one, Jasper. Jasper, you've obviously really thought carefully about how you're gonna build this. Uh, I like that it's, got a, that it's got a nose on the front. I don't know if that's a drill or if that's just protection on the front, but I love that it's gold, yellow, orange. Mm. It makes it look super cool. And I love that you've put um, spikes above the wheels at the back. So, if needs be, if it gets into trouble, this car, this car can handle itself. It can handle it. Very cool. All right, amazing. That's our lower primary entries. Uh, again, we need to select a winner, Hamish. I think again, incredible work by everybody, but I think 
for the detail and the effort, I think I might have to give it a bit of a soft spot for me to the Cretaceous Park from Harvey. Harvey. Just, you, you really, really put a lot of thought into that, Harvey. And everybody put a lot of thought into theirs. I love the details in everyone's. You can see, and I'm sure I even missed some stuff in there too, but so much effort. Well done to everybody that built. Well, love them. Nice. We're, all right, we're going to move on to our upper primary entries now. Let's fly through them, starting with Jamie's... What do you say, Shimura or Kimura? How do you pronounce that? Oh, I was about to ask you the same thing, Tom, because you're a pretty smart guy. I thought it was Chimera. Is it Chimera? Chimera. We've had the judge. Is it Chimera? I never know how to say that word. So already, Jamie, you're scoring some points because you've fooled the judges. Um, you're, Jamie's interest called why, why? Who says Chimeras can't swim? I, I'm pretty sure Chimera was a mythical animal. Um, I feel a bit sorry for you here, Jamie, because you obviously know a lot about Chimeras and, and the judges are in the dark a little bit, but I, I am pretty sure they were a mythical mm. beast, maybe from Greek mythology? Quite possibly, maybe from Lego oh, Man, who knows? Um, so within this, we've got, you know, you've got a swimming chimera, obviously causing a bit of a commotion at the beach. The beach. I think they were quite a nasty animal. So you've got police, mayhem, love, love the, I love that it's a scene, you know, like mm. there's stuff happening in the scene and you can see everybody running away. So that's very cool, Jamie. Nice um, Corona Chaos is Hugo and Harvey's. Boy, oh boy. I mean, for relatability, for something we all understand at the moment, you got this. And I love that you've, you've photographed it in front of toilet paper. Uh, so it, it really shows that it was taken during the coronavirus when everyone, for some reason, was panicking about toilet paper. Um, very, very cool. We can see long queues there, bakers. It's mayhem. Good it's stuff. Fabulous. Okay, Sadie, COVID conflict. Sadie, again, really great work. Um, here, I think for, for a bunch of these in this category, everybody's created a scene, a really interesting scene where something is happening. Um, so we can see here a few people protesting. I've got to say, I, I think I'm seeing this correctly. The protesters have got what looks like upside down toilet paper rolls. They're actually little white car doors, but they, they look like toilet paper rolls. So that's a good joke that you put in there, Sadie. I, I appreciate that. Um, as everybody's trying to keep their cool here in the middle of coronavirus. Um, all right, now we've got Gowry. I, I hope that's how we say your name correctly there, Gowry. This is beautiful. Isn't it? A Lego campsite. Again, a really clever, clever build and great way to capture a world that we can't go to at the moment, which again, that's the fun of, that is the fun of Lego. We can, we can at least travel there. We can make our own worlds in it with our imaginations out of Lego. So I love that you built this campsite. And I've got to say, I would love to go to this campsite. You've got a pool, you've got a flower garden. Is that a, it's either a unicorn or a lovely white horse. Either way, I don't take it. Excellent. Okay, Eliza, this is really cool. This is very impressive. Mm. I, we don't, we can't, this is a, this is Eliza's cat. Um, it's inspired, it says here, by her own two cats. We can't see Eliza's cats, but you do get the vibe that one's brown and one might be black and white because it's a perfect mish, mishmash of, of those together. We have a chocolate lamington. And this, I gotta say, Eliza, this is impressive. You've got bendy bits in the tail. It's really hard, really hard. Like, I, I can't do this. This is a much better thing that I could build. And I see it all the time on Lego Masters. One of the very tricky things to do is to build faces, whether it's people's faces, animals' faces. It's really hard to, to capture the expression of how something feels in Lego. And I think you've done a pretty awesome job at that. With the nose, the eyes are super cool. That is a great build, Eliza. COVID coffin ceremony is from Zara. Um, it's... I mean, it's an amazing, like, first of all, I said, it's an amazing coffin, like the build of the, the build of the coffin and the chapel. Mm. This is, this is, this is very epic. Um, and you've, you've built some really difficult shapes there. If, if people look at that, um, that building in the background, the, the chapel there, that is a hard thing to build in Lego. That is an eight sided, I'm pretty sure that's an octagon mm. um, with a roof on it as well. That's very tricky, but she's built something here to go, well, not, not that many people could go to funerals in COVID, but you, I believe you've come in under the legal limit there. Well done. Um, well done. Well done, Zara. Really tough shapes to build. And Sophie here, 
this is gorgeous, Tommy. Um, this is our crazy princess, Crystal. Um, Crystal, we can see there is the crazy, crazy princess. She lives in a, obviously a gorgeous castle. A um, couple of guys are trying to steal from the palace. Um, but luckily there's sharks and crocodiles protecting the palace. It's a beautiful glimpse into Crystal's life. I mean, would they call her the crazy princess? She lives a crazy life. And I feel like we were very lucky to be able to see inside her, a day inside her crazy life here too. Amazing detail on the castle too. Love it, so. Well, I'm happy. This is very cool from Phoenix, a cave construction site. Um, he, you've really done, a, done an amazing job here, um, um, Phoenix. It's really tricky to build something like, um, you know, or like rocks and trees and, and caves and things like that. It's really tricky to build that out of Lego because Lego is squares, you know, and, and but you, you can definitely, you can immediately see this is a cave. It's got lava in it. It's spilling out along the floor. You've done a really good job of making it feel like it's bubbling and stuff with the, with the different pieces of Lego you've used. And I love that you put the warning sign up the front, Phoenix, just to keep people away from the lava. So you, I don't know if you've experienced lava in real life, but you obviously know exactly what to do should you ever run into lava. Very, very cool. And finally. Lucinda, the COVID creation. Lucinda, you have built a incredible house. You've built, this is a house a lot of people would dream to live in. It's got a pool out the front, a mailbox, and then you can take the roof off and it's got a complete floor plan, Tommy. Like, listen, to, I've been playing a lot of Lego during lockdown. Again, this is way better than anything I've been building in my lounge room on the floor. So listen, to, this is really impressive. And I love that you've, all the bricks are the same colour in the walls, the floors, terrific. You can see so many details. You've even got a bathroom and a toilet. If you look really carefully in the back right hand corner there, I'm pretty sure I can see the toilet in the bathroom. You've thought of everything in that list. And that's super, super impressive. Indeed. So, right. Tommy, does that bring us to our winner? It does. We need to choose one from our upper primary entries. There's a bunch of them. Your thoughts, hey? It's, i got to say, there's so... All of these builds have blown me away. Um, there is not a Lego Masters kids at this stage. I know there's whispers, there's talks, maybe next year, maybe the year after one could possibly happen. I would like everybody in this category to seriously keep an ear out in case there's ever a Lego Masters kids because you are amazing, amazing builders. I, I loved all of them for so many different reasons, but I, I, think, I think I might go for Eliza's cat nice. as, as the winner. It's a really tough thing to do an animal and I just love the face that you gave the cat. There was some amazing things like Lucinda, your house, incredible. I love Phoenix, your cave and the, COVID, the Chimera, the COVID conflicts. In fact, everything was so great. Our crazy princess, our coffin ceremony. But I, Eliza, I think for your cat, you just snuck over the line. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, Eliza. All right, we're going to move on to our secondary entries and there's just two of them. So this is going to be a fierce battle. Let's start with, I think it's Ned. It's Ned's City Street. Ned, mate, you have done it. This is, you've done an incredible job. I'm not sure what whereabouts you live, Ned, or if you've been to the Lego Discovery Centre in at Chadston, but the, you know, probably one of the hardest things to build out of Lego is a whole street with vehicles and shops and putting all the detail in that street. Not only have you done that really well here, Ned, but you can see inside all the stores and there's so many different things that are happening inside the shops and in the life of the street. That's, that is really amazing, Ned. That's such a cool build. Well done. Indeed. And? And then the Corruptor. Um, now, I believe this comes from a game from Horizon. Um, this is... I, I haven't played Horizon. I definitely don't want to run into the Corruptor in real life. Doesn't look like the friendliest of um, beasts or robots. But uh, this... Is, uh, this is pretty epic, epic from Keller. Um, now, he does say, like, the, 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 the creature is all black, and um, but within, even though it's all black, you've managed to get a lot of different detail within the creature there, but the shape of those legs and the way they bend and, and hold the creature up, there's, you can see in each leg, there's one, two, three, I think four bending parts in each leg. Mm. Um, so that is that is pretty awesome, Keller. 
I'd, I'd like to think... see killers corrupt or walking down Ned's street. That'd be, that's what we really need right now, isn't it? That is what we need. We need them to join up. We need them, to, we need them just the, the corrupted cruising down the shops for a Frappuccino. Um, Our winner. I think for the, for, for the difficulty of making those, those legs and the shapes, I think the corrupter might just sneak just through as a pretty imaginative and original build. But Ned, your city street was, geez, it's this close, guys. Your city street is epic, Ned. Keep building. Build another city street. I'd love to see it. Build a city. All right. Excellent. We're moving on now to our adult entries, Hamish. The Christmas tree, this. Laura, your Christmas tree... I tell you what, it's a hard shape to build. I, the reason I stopped for a second was uh, I tried to build some Christmas trees last year out of Lego. I thought they would be easy mm. and I failed. Well, I didn't fail, but I mean, there's no such thing as failing at Lego. You just, you try again, you try a different shape, but they didn't really come out the way I wanted and I had to cheat. There is such a thing as cheating at Lego because I got Brickman to do my Christmas trees for me and then I gave them to the people that I was making them for. Laura? Nice. I know what you've been through making this shape and you did a much better job than I did. That's very, very cool. Excellent. All right. Oh, Hamish, Ooh. this is not me, but um, I wish it was. That is, that looks like something out of an Escher yes. painting. That's, that is epic. Again, the, um, I know Hamish has written here in his entrance that it's very bland colours, but in all seriousness, just building something out of white and the transparent pieces that you use, there's a few see-through pieces in there, just building out of white is actually a very cool effect because you can see a lot of detail on white Lego. If you just build out of black, it's quite hard to see. Just building something out of white is actually a really cool thing to do out of Lego. If you build it out of black, it's, it's kind of a bit shiny and you end up just seeing a lot of the reflections and the creases. But when you build it out of white, you can see a lot of the shadows and it looks, it looks really cool. So I love that. All right. And our third and final entry in the adult category. Rose, you've gone, if something that's close to my heart, the Caravan of Courage is, uh, is, is a trip that my friend Andy and I took. Um, we did a few of these holidays where we'd drive a caravan around and we'd just go and find different adventures either through Australia or different countries. Something that we, something we can't quite do at the moment um, and we do miss those adventures. But you've made a very colourful Caravan of Courage out. Caravan was just a Jayco expander, if you're familiar with the model, but um, this is a much cooler caravan than the one we took. So good work, Rose. Very tempting, very tempting to give it to you, Rose, because you've built something that's quite close to my heart, caravanning. But I think I'm gonna go Hamish as our winner. Um, you know, the Hame, I, I love the all white. I think it looks very, very cool. Excellent. All right. Well done. So, so far, every one of our winners will take home a Spotlight gift card. Our final category is the family entries. You get the Spotlight card, plus you get a family pass to Legoland Discovery Centre at Shadston. So, this is our final category. It's the family entries. All right. Well, our first one here, it's from Lucas um, with his mum, Daniela, and his dad, Greg. The COVID Christmas, pretty funny, Tom. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we've got... I, I definitely points for comedy here. It looks like we've got Rudolph and Santa not able to get into Australia, which I hope isn't true for Christmas this year. But at this at this stage, it looks it sort of looks like um, we closed. Looks like the festivities have been stopped at the border. Mm. Great job on the, the shape of Australia too. That's a tricky shape to get correct, and I I would give that a solid B plus. Absolutely. That a stranger. I'm not sure Tasmania would be happy being square, but yes, yeah, they slightly. Slightly offensive to um, those down the bottom of Tasmania that they've been given a giant coastline, but I mean, it's tough. It's tough to do, so well done. All right, here we go. We've got Sadie, Tilly and Freddie who have all teamed up to build a castle. That's very impressive. Um, now, we've, we've, building a castle out of Lego is one of, the, one of the funnest things you can do. It's a common, um, common thing you can, uh, you can build out of Lego, um, but... You, the, the cool thing about building castles is everyone's got their own idea about building castles. And what I love about this castle is the, 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 the drawbridge out the front, like the path out the front where you can come through sort of like a garden entrance and get into the side of the castle. That is very cool, guys. I like it. And I imagine too, and it's unstackable too, so you can, you can go at different levels. I don't know if you can see that, Tommy, but in that second photo, it's been unstacked. So you can stack it all up and then you can unstack it. So very cool, guys. Very impressive. 
Scarface Claw um, from Rory with his mum, Christine. Great book. Um, part of the Harry McClary series. Um, I don't want to give away the ending of the series. Tommy, I know you're working through it at the moment. It's your current reading project. So I won't tell you how Scarface Claw ends, but terrific. Is Slinky Malinky okay? Slinky Malinky is, makes it through the end. Makes it through the end. Um, Having read Scarface Claw many, many times myself, uh, that's a very good Scarface Claw. Remember we talked about it's very tough to get animals' expressions it's in Lego? Nice. The, eyes. That, the Scarface Claw has a wide head, small mouth, aggressive eyes, and, I, and, I, and I'm pretty sure because of the scar, the eyes are not equal. And I love that, uh, I love that you guys, I love that Rory and Christine, you guys have, you guys have done it. They're very cool. Absolutely. Very cool. Right, our last entry. Okay, Daniel, Marco, Michael, and with mum, Addie and dad, John, this crazy city, what? I mean, A, it lives up to the name, but very cool. Very, very cool build. I love the le Lego lettering. Is, um, it's, it's, it's super effective. It's not easy to do. It takes a bit of practice to get your letters correct. And it kind of is quite hard to do. And you guys have done a really good job of, uh, of getting the lettering happening there. And I also love, we got, we got, we got, we got Duplo. We got so many different activities and different people uh, doing stuff in there and other Lego. There was a lot to look at in that city. That's a very cool, crazy city. Well done, guys. Well, we need to choose a winner from our family category. Okay. We've got... Really, really good one. Scarface Claw, really impressive. Crazy City, of course. COVID Christmas, very funny. I think, I think for the detail and the fact that you could, you could take it apart and play inside it, I think I might give it to Sadie, Tilly and Freddie for their, for their castle. I love the castle. Mm -hmm. An excellent job, but I loved all of them. As with every category, unbelievable job to all of them. Very funny. Excellent. Well, Hamish, thank you so much for acting as our judge for our online, our virtual Lego challenge this year. It's been great. And I know everyone is so excited to have you look at their Lego creations and we really appreciate it. I'm honestly blown away with what you guys have built. That I was not expecting stuff of that incredible level. So well done to everyone. I can, for all the imagination and thought you put in, congratulations. But um, no need to stop here. Keep building. Go and build some more stuff. So, Haim, on that note, we're going to leave it there. We look forward to hopefully actually being in the same room as you at a, a Learning for Life event sometime over the horizon. But for now, I, thank I, you so I, much. I hope we all get to be back together next year, if not sooner. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Haim. Thanks.